It was the fall of 2017. My uncle was hit by a truck when he was only 17. And since then, I've been in a coma for 17 years. Until he woke up. Takafumi, my sister's kid. But where is uh, everyone else? Well, our family had a huge falling out because of you. What to do with you while you were in a coma? And let me tell you, it wasn't cheap. My mom said she didn't want to see you. Ikuras Kura. send you somewhere to help you get back on your feet. Carry. I'm 
I've been meaning to ask you, why do you have such a big place? Uh, I was living with someone, but it got complicated. Like with a lover? Not like that. Uh, okay. Listen, they were just a roommate. Get it? Mm. Huh? Roommates weren't a thing back then? Whoa, you looked that up really fast. What a tidy computer. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> that is so weird. You finding a friend to live with you here? <laughs> Uncle, so tell me, what were people like in the other world? What about your friends? Um, I flew solo pretty much the entire time I was there. Yeah. <laughs> cheapest price. You already looked it up? <laughs> Those little smartphones are really fast. You could always learn to use one. Touching, swiping, pinching. I prefer to have a bunch of buttons to push. I guess. 
They don't make new versions of the cool phones that slide open or spin anymore, do they? It's innovation. Everything is touchscreens. A lot happens in 17 years. You know, I did some technical innovations of my own in the other world. Oh, yeah? Hmm. I met a pot that overflowed with water to stop a village's drought. Oh, how? I used two spells. Uh, it'll just be easier to show you how it did it. Dicker is Elrond. Whoa. Is this one of your memories? There are these spell cards charged with magic. With a lot of work, I managed to reverse the electrolysis process to create water. You beat modern science? Wow, you must have blown all their minds. I mean, I bet all those villagers were cheering your name. Yeah. They tried to hang me. They destroyed the pot. I guess what I did was sacrilegious. Stop! Someone rescued you. Uh, who's that awful woman? What? That's her? Yes, I know. I get it. First person view is hard to follow. Hey, what's that? Hmm, I can swipe here to rotate the camera around. Yeah, there we are. You can do that? Pinch in to zoom out. Oh, you weren't kidding. You were being hunted. Oh, can we see uh what happened to that girl? Yeah. I'll pinch out to zoom in. Coward. He ran away. Loser. She saved you, Ed. She's hot. Yeah, I know. I'm a coward. What? Question. Could you pick up these headphones for me? Oh, where are they? Kumamoto. Five minutes. And this sofa? Uh, that looks really heavy. I will give you a shoulder massage. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's how Uncle learned to bid online without paying shipping fees. Thanks. Hey, I would have gone to pick that up for you. It was free. I have Amazon Prime. Is there a box cutter? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Where did this come from? A storage spell. <laughs> By the way, that thing can kill dragons, so be careful. That's so cool. Did you bring anything else back with you? Uh, a lot. Like a magic sword. Oh, no. Where to I also have precious metals. What? The stone is a mermaid tear crystallized by magic. And the band was carved from rainbow coral. In the other world, you can buy a castle with this. Sell them! Sell them all! 50 yen. 
I took them to a pawn shop, and they told me 50 yen. It's too rare. Hmm. We're not getting as many views as I thought. I need a new idea. Uncle? Huh? So I'm guessing you had this because you were going to give it to someone? No. It's just a commemorative trophy. You have to beat a pretty hard dungeon to get one of them, though. I see. You want to talk about love? No. I doubt you ever had a romance in the other world. No thanks. Yes, I did. But I've been alive over 30 years. I've gotten plenty of action. My first love was in elementary school. Who was she? Sonic and Tails. What? I'd go to the toy store every afternoon to watch the video demo play. That title screen was so cute. I never got tired of it. Do you have people stories? Hmm? Oh, yeah. There was this girl named Kai A. Anasi. She was killed by a warrior. Then her brain was transferred into an evil cyborg body. She attacked me after I hunted down the Seven Force. She's the boss of level three and takes on five. This man had no life outside of games. Were there any nice girls in the other world? No. Oh, sure. Really? Icarus. No run. I managed to save her from that awful monster. It looks more like she's sacrificing herself to protect her brothers. Pretty cool, right? I think we got ambushed by goblins or something soon after this. What? I fell off a cliff. Never saw her again. That must have been terrible. Huh? Those, uh, those kids are looking a little suspicious back there. I should look at what attacked me. Uh, I'm sure it was a goblin. Yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, whatever it was, almost killed me. And that awful woman showed up. Really? I hate to admit it, but she saved me. <clears throat> but why? Why save me? I did you a favor. You're in my debt. Now you'll spend the rest of your life trying to repay me. The rest of my life. Huh? I, I didn't mean it like that. It's not like we're going to be together forever. Stop it! Stay right there! I don't have much to pay you with. What about this? Huh? It's a cosmite ring. One of only seven in the whole world. Hey, stop! What are you doing? It should fit. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a second. This is too fast. You don't want it. What? I do.
I guess my city gas versus ice magic video wasn't as cool as I thought. Yeah, they didn't like that you were wasting natural resources. Less views means I need to save money. This is my last auction purchase. What is it? A piece of history. It's an issue of Sega Saturn magazine with the final results of a reader poll. I never saw the results, and now I have it. The hope of one day reading the results of this poll is what kept me going during my worst days in the other world. Something that trivial? Takafumi! What? The time is right. The final page of Sega Saturn's history is here for my reading pleasure! I literally could not care less. Hmm, let's see. First place. Huh? Tell me, what is it? Ah, it's the port of that girly game for the PC. That's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? Nah, I can't really complain. Judging by the reviews, it seems like the ranking was good. However, it's kind of sad, like seeing a tough street fighter getting distracted by love and romance, you know? Sure. No way. Second place was the Sega Saturn exclusive, an RPG. Uh, I've never really liked playing RPGs. What? I liked them at first, but I always forget what I did. Then when I boot it up the next day, I never have any idea where to go. Is that so? One time, a thing happened in the other world that was sort of like an RPG. Huh? Icarus Elrond. You stupid orc! I won't let you destroy our village! What's yeah. this? Yeah. This was yeah. when I first arrived at the village. Fast forward, fast forward. Yeah. Getting attacked on arrival was a common thing for my uncle. The legendary blaze dragon was recently resurrected. It was seen at the fire shrine, but it's moving closer. And the people are afraid that it will burn our village down. Only the god Freezing Sword, which is passed down by our village's Ice Clan, can defeat it. Problem is, the very last and only descendant of the Ice Clan is a bit of a troublemaker. Sega Saturn system bundled with 20 games. <laughs> Takafumi? Oh, what is it? 
Well, it's, uh... It's just... <clears throat> I bought it as a surprise, but we're supposed to be spending less money. Hmm? I worried. No Sega gaming system could be considered a waste to uncle. Oh, this must be what it felt like when the aliens took over the city and alien storm. It is eerie when it's cold like this. No one else is outside. In other world, the end of the year was way different. <gasps> Uncle! Curious? Yeah. Hmm. The tagline for Alien Storm was, If aliens attacked, would you run away in fear? Or dot dot dot. You played as an alien buster, trained by the government. I wasn't asking about the game! What's that, a manga? Oh, yeah. I had a hankering to ring in the new year while reading. Will you be able to follow it after 17 years? Kochikame never changes. Kochikame ended. What? It has an ending? Uh, it doesn't end in that one. So, tell me, what was the New Year's like in the other world? It's not in the index either. For real. Icarus Elrond. It's not a big deal. It's just a little stupid tradition. They throw a Thanksgiving festival to celebrate their deities. So they will help them through the winter. Oh, what a spread. Everyone there gets so excited for this festival. It would have been nice if I... All right, everyone. Let's have a great night. Cheers! Ah! If I... Could have gotten into the spirit of it all. But it's not like my personality changed over there. I ate by myself and went to the inn. That's it. Oh, the food was amazing. I don't Chicken. care. There was a festival and that's all you did? That's it. What about the awful woman? Oh, oh, she wasn't there. By this point, she was gone. Want to play the Saturn? Hell yeah, let's play. Guardian hero, guardian hero. You're gonna break the bun. Ah! I just remembered. That icy girl, Mabel, came up to my room that night. Oh, with the god-pleasing sword? Now we got a battle! What? Tell me about that now! But we finally got to the next day. No! Honestly, nothing really happened that night. Look! Why are you here? I want you to teach me. I want to be strong like you, but I'm so weak. Oh. Please teach me how to not be so weak. You're weak? Hmm? Who decided that you were weak? What? Who told you? It was the mayor. Don't live the way they tell you to. You have to live the way that you want to live. Being brave 
brave enough to be our truest self is real strength. some silver. Ooh, hell yeah! Put that hot water on! What did you do for New Year's when you were a student? Did you game? Uh, I'd watch the It's Okay to Laugh special. We didn't normally get to watch it, so it felt cool. It's okay to laugh and it. What the hell? Why is everything ending? Sorry. Ugh. I guess it's been 17 years, right? Uh, it only ended three years ago. Now it feels personal. Those jerks! Kochikami ended just last year. What? What do you like to watch, Takafumi? Uh, you may not know it, but it's called No Laughing. Oh, cool. What happened to Tamori? It's not related to It's Okay to Laugh. Seems like Uncle watched a lot of TV. The new year passed as we gamed, talked, and ate silver with each other. Breeze there. I'd appreciate it if you could keep that sort of thing up today, huh? <laughs> oh, you. You are such a kidder. I love it. <laughs> I'm not walking this way again. <laughs> Fujimiya? Stonagas, resto, rabara! <laughs> Icarus, Gora! Icarus, Gora! Icarus, Gora! No, Japanese. Spirits of memory, deliver unto oblivion! Suck 
like a fool. Tell me, she saw me erase. The sooner I erase, the less it alters my brain. She's my friend, friend, Uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Friend. Well, any friend to talk of movies is a friend of mine. <laughs> when you said I part time. You were a disaster. For who? You're actually just taking care of your uncle who hasn't worked for 17 years. I'm a YouTuber. I saw him mumbling to himself like a crazy person. Sometimes I talk to the elemental spirits to help improve my magic. He is insane! Yeah, I know that. Huh? But he can actually use real magic. I can. That's what my channel is about. Uh, show me some magic right now! I have over two million views. I can't start doing it for free, right? Mm -hmm. He's acting like this is a business. Just, just try not to mess up Takafumi's life more than you already have, all right? Oh, you have... Feelings for Takafumi. What? No, 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 no. Just... She doesn't. We're friends. Well, that can't be. Yeah, I know how relationships work. Because I watched all of Evangelion in middle school. We've all seen Ava! Okay, I watched it first. Back then, Ava was sponsored by Sega. It's always Sega. Oh, so you know Asuka? The girl in the red, right? No! Uncle will remember her sedentary behavior! I did you a favor. You're in my debt. I didn't mean it like that! It's not like we're going to be together forever! You don't realize the elf had feelings for him! Did you know? Asuka actually had deep feelings for Kaji. I see. Not everyone is emotionally intelligent enough to pick up on it. Yeah. Sure, man. I've had enough of this! You need to stop treating real life like it's an anime! You're right. Here's something real. There was a girl named Kaede Nanase. After an enemy removed a part of her soul, she became a different person. Her affection for me was replaced with the love for murderous rage in the heat of battle. In the middle of a long fight, she would become joyous. Amidst the explosions, there was a glimmer of her old self for a moment. <gasps> Who she killed and what she lost. It all taught me one thing. It's never too early to tell someone how you feel about them. That's so sad. Detailed he got with that lame story. Uh, Fujimiya. What? He's uh, just talking about a video game. What? You're kidding. No! It's my real experience with a video game. <laughs> Spirit of memory, swiftly delve deep. I can't believe he had a roommate. I feel stupid for changing outfits. What? That's true, you did change. I did a change? And you took a shot. did not! No, oh, who's that? Mm -hmm. Is your mind reader? The scammer? What the hell are you? Hmm. A middle-aged man. Who came back from the other world? Uh... Shibazaki, a delivery for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Okay. Shibazaki. He needs to leave. You should kick him out. If you're having trouble paying rent, I can help you. Wait, you would move in? What? I guess I never thought to ask. I guess I... No, I... I know, but Uncle's here already. How heavy is this? 15 kilograms? That's <laughs> just rice. Just rice? Uh, how accurate does my signature have to be? <laughs> so, I was no longer the only person who knew my uncle's secret. He seemed excited to let Fujimiya in on it. No, 
Also, we should probably stop buying rice online. There was some sort of murderous vibe in the air or something. Hey, uh, Fujimiya's coming over later. Oh, is she now? <laughs> What's up? Nothing. I think she's a nice girl. Uh, she is. Yeah. She did try to cut you out, though. Hmm? A new email. Oh, yeah. I haven't read it. It's in English. Hold on. New changes to the YouTube partner program. Huh? You can read all that? Nah. I use the translation app. Whoa. <laughs> That's magic. So what's it say? That you're now unemployed. What? At the start of 2018, a lot of small YouTubers were cut off from earning ad revenue. And my uncle's channel was no exception to this sweeping policy change. We had to act fast. I need to reach 4,000 viewing hours and 1,000 subscribers by the end of the day. Okay, well, he has a ton of viewing hours. Why does he have so few subscribers, though? Oh. on our hands. <sighs> what do we do? I haven't faced a crisis this bad since the spell protecting the barrier in Lovaldrum was broken and 1,000 legendary level monsters attacked. <laughs> Come on. Why would you bring up an other world story that sounds so cool right now? Oh, you want to hear it? At a time like this? Hey, it's your fault for bringing it up! Icarus, Elrond. So that's the barrier. That's a massive barrier. I wonder what they're keeping out. You don't know anything. Huh? Do you have the intelligence of an orc too? <laughs> Calm down, people! I know he looks like an orc, but you all know if he was one, he'd never survive inside this barrier. Calm down, everyone. I get it. I totally agree. I guess if you have an orc face, you get hostility from all sides. Hey, pause! Huh? She just used... An old Chinese saying. How does that exist in the other world? It's a translation app. The direct translation is the tenth day of the Kuvin army's wailing. Now, I guess they used a saying with similar meaning. What's this interface? I changed it to match your video player. Why don't you ever hide your face? Why should I? Hmm. Well... I guess your face is less vomit-inducing once you get used to it. I don't hate it. Why is this fruit so huge? That's an equa fruit from the south. The barrier protects the city from the mythic class monsters that live in the land of the rising beasts to the west of here. The reason that fruit is here is because of that barrier. It allows this place to thrive as a central trading hub between the realms. Without it, we'd all die. Uh, and why did you do that, Uncle? Well, I just...
just, I wanted to see if I could do it. Put it up again. I had a talk with the spirits that had formed the barrier, and they put it back up for me. But boy, did I get an earful from them. An earful. Century. Of course there would be a hiccup. But we should see if we can strengthen it. You get to keep your head again, orc face. You won't tell them that I was the one who took down the barrier. <laughs> Not if you buy me dinner. It will be our secret. you're with an extortionist, it's important you don't give in to their demands, or they'll take you for everything you've got. Hey, orc face, go buy me a sweet bean bun next. <sighs> How much does he distrust everyone? I wonder what if I ask the spirits for... yeah. Uh, what are you doing? The plan is the same as a barrier. I'll just ask all of my viewers to help. I'm going to explain my situation in the comments and ask them to subscribe to my channel. You can't just do that, Uncle. You can't show them your weakness. The internet will fling you until your last breath, man. There are terrifying trolls always waiting in the wings. Oh, it's over. Oh, no, what have you done? Look at this! No way! I guess I've seen 
so many toxic fandoms taking over the web that I forgot. The internet can be good sometimes. That people will help you. Hey, I'm here! I guess I don't trust other people very much either. Whoa! I made it to 1,000! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much for all your help. Done! Should I add a smiley face to it? Sure, man. What's happening? I've heard the aging need population is a serious issue. You know, unemployed uncles crashing at their nephews, turning their lives upside down. Isn't it awful? Totally. Whoa! My brand new video already has 10,000 views on it! Can you really even call being a YouTuber an actual job? You can't be making that much money. Oh, that. I get asked this a lot. Technically, I have an ad contract with the YouTube Corporation. So, it's a job. If you have a roommate... Hmm? Ah, then you can't live with your significant other, you know? No, I have a great idea. You should move in with us. <laughs> Two people can sleep in Takafumi's room. <laughs> I'll sleep on the floor. And I don't want to sleep next to another guy in my room. <laughs> it's not going to be big enough for us. No? <laughs> Sorry, gotta do a store run. What? Uh-huh. Hey! Sugar-free jam just went on sale. Can't miss it. Uh... Takafumi. Huh? He has a lovely girl like you showing interest in him. But he seems to only see you as a friend. What happened between you two? Huh? I'm here if you want to talk. Oh, okay. good. Okay. But as someone who successfully picked up hundreds of romantic partners, I have valuable advice. I don't want any advice from a person whose only life experiences have come from video games. <laughs> I guess you're right. I can't help you. He's really weird. But he does seem to have good intentions. I'll apologize. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blown up like... What? Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Takafumi's aunt. Aunt? I didn't know that Takafumi had an aunt. He has an uncle, so he has an aunt, too. Right? Uh, where's his uncle? The bathroom. Spirits of self. Occupied. Anyway, I am here to talk. Ask away. Huh? It's just us ladies here now. No need to be shy. So what happened between you two? Uh, honestly, it's nothing, really. I'm all... Sonic and Tails. Tails. Tails, plural. His real name is Miles Prower, but he has two tails, so they call him Tails. My uncle. Your aunt. Mm -hmm. If you had a spell like that, you could have changed your face in the other world. It's not that easy. When you use a spell to change your physical form, your mind can begin to undergo changes as well. You could lose your sense of identity. advice oh well might as well shoot a youtube video wait, wait, wait what that was not the time
time. Fujimiya is here. Show her some hospitality. We can do a Guardian Heroes Let's Play. Really? I've been wanting to do a Let's Play video. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> we'll start now, so you can keep that face on. Okay. Let's go. What the hell? Okay. It's uploaded. I'm not as good as I used to be, but I think I showed off some pretty fancy moves back there. Can we watch the video? Well, hold on a sec, Uncle. Let's not forget now, we have a guest over. Oh, I forgot about her! Uh, Uncle? Aunt? Okay, let's watch the first time you two met back when you were both kids. So we're just jumping right into it, huh? We'll figure it out, Takafumi. Spirits of memory, display his mind's eye! <laughs> Huh? What's that? It's magic. Oh, right. You can drop the act. Oh, this is a hologram, right? I've seen these in movies. <laughs> You're right. It is coming from this fancy Sony device. Oh, Sony. It's a Sony. That's our grade school. Uh, before they fix it up. <laughs> Talk of movie! Do you have porno bags in your house? No, I don't! <laughs> oh, wow. This projector is amazing. Don't talk back to me! <laughs> That's odd. I don't see Fujimiya at all. There's just this dirty kid. The kid is you.
However, we did make enough money to splurge on the premium sashimi at the supermarket. back in grade school. But I got less awkward and way more girly in middle school. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh! You and Taco Fumi, aren't you too adorable? Let me take a picture of this. A picture? Um, I, I can just send you the file if you want it. Huh? How's that? An email or something? This can't do email or make phone calls. Huh? Then how do you get in contact with Takafumi without a working phone? I'm currently thinking about using smoke signals or flags to stay in touch. I don't think smoke would be a good idea in the apartment. Smoke and flags? What is this? The Middle Ages? So I bought a coffee now and some beans. This is the first time I've had freshly ground coffee. It's really different. Money? That's not a very thoughtful present. 10,000 yen. I guess you're right. Oh. I don't really know what young kids are into these days. Uh, well, it, it's always the thought that counts, right? Huh? Then a game here set with TV tour attachment would have been okay? No, that wouldn't have been okay. It's fine. I was really thankful for the cash. I still have some left over. I'll buy more beans with it. Oh, I'll buy something <gasps> sweet then. A birthday present, Fujimiya, that swimsuit picture you just sent. It lost out to the groceries weekly coffee bean sale. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. That picture was old. I took it way back in middle school. I've changed a lot since then. Uh, uh, uh. What if he 
saw me naked. I mean, I wouldn't mind. He probably wouldn't react. Uncle? Why is the curtain... I'll be gone for two hours. <sighs> Takafumi? Sorry. I try to ignore it, but honestly, Fujimiya, the truth is... You're really just so dim. I couldn't help myself, and I didn't want other people to see you. I'm sorry. I'm really happy that you looked at me like you did. Fujimiya, you've always been so kind to me. Huh? All right, I'll erase it. I, I erase what? You mean you're gonna... <laughs> I hung the flag upside down. What flag? <laughs> Takafumi, what happened? The flag was set to emergency. What? Well, I used the flag to signal my uncle to come home. The spirits inform him. So you were serious about the flags and the smoke? <laughs> uncle, <laughs> listen. I walked in on her changing earlier. And ooh, I feel bad. Please erase the memory. What? Oh, okay. I'll do it quick. Spirits of memory, <laughs> deliver unto oblivion. <laughs> Don't get your memories erased, idiot! Thank you so much. Just cut it out. You haven't changed. You're still such a kind person. Will you stop it? Just don't try to make this a heartwarming episode. Oh, Jimmy, New coffee, please. You understand my feelings. You guys want coffee? You are racist. Oh, that Fujimiya. So She's still the same lovely oh, person I remember. I'm really happy to see her again. And I'm really happy I get to be her friend. Yup, her really good friend. Still a minor. Actually, I turned 20 today. What? Uh, happy birthday. Congrats. Thank you very much. You left when you were, what, 17, right? So you're 34? So 30 ish. Yeah. yeah, I missed my birthday, so I'm 35. Oh, I so see. So 40 ish? Yeah. Huh? 30 ish and 40 ish both became popular slangs pretty recently. Well, Dang it! I would have planned something if I knew. Oh, no. There's really no need for you to do that. Then allow me to gift you my favorite motto. A crisis is... Hmm? An opportunity! <sighs> Just when you think you're done for, and you feel the negative energy flowing toward you, don't worry. You can turn things around by changing that energy's direction. That's why... It's important to fight like hell until the bitter end. No matter how tough it is, you'll do it. <sighs> That's the long version. I hope you both lock it away in your hearts. That's a very interesting motto. Thank you for sharing. A crisis is an opportunity. Oh man, you feel the weight of it when a famous YouTuber says it, huh? Are you poking fun at me, <laughs> you scamp? But this is so cool, you can both drink alcohol now. Icarus Elron. This was the first time I ever drank. 
I had just turned 20, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the other footage has been from before this, so I was a teen at the time. Teen? <laughs> Look at how young I am. I've gotten so old. Uh, yeah, man. You sure have. He looks the same. I can't tell the difference.
Does he get super horny when he drinks? Hey, you sure uh, you don't want to play? No, we're fine. Play something single player. Hey, hey, here. Look. Burning Rangers. Without a Sega 3D controller? Ugh. Nicely done. Hey, uh, stop it. You're leaning against me. I want to thank you. I'm glad you were here tonight. To help me through a hard time. Huh? You've been having a hard time? <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. But I had you with me. It's the second floor. Okay. You really think that I've helped you that much? This is it. And the key... to be way more unsettling compared to other sports, you know. Oh, yeah, kind of like dead ball or sacrifice. Strikeouts, oh, and pickoffs, all that. It reminds me, that time I was almost assassinated. What? Jeez, oh, yeah. talk about a curveball. Icarus, Elron. I remember I was exhausted after just finishing a dungeon. Awesome. It was worth the hard work. 
Yes, yes! He's not picking up on the sarcasm. Oh no, Mabel's life is totally spiraling out of control because of what he did! Why? Why didn't you take the sword? I can sense it. Things are always trying to kill me like I'm inside a psycho game. But I don't really sense any murderous intent here. Actually, you look pretty pale. Have you been eating enough?
responsibility for ruining your livelihood, you see. Please take it. What? Rest of my life? What? <gasps> what the hell is this old man doing? Oh, that's twice! You were sleeping when I put it on. Oh, but, um, uh, sorry. I really admire you, but not in that way. I can't accept this from you. I hope you understand. I'm very sorry. Look at his sword! The ice in her heart must have melted! I insist. Take it. Oh! No, I can't! Wait, I, I turned it down, didn't I? Wait, hold on. I don't understand. I said no. Uh, wait, didn't I say no? I thought I did. What happened? I found it today while I was in the dungeon. It must have been fate or something, right? They say there are only seven Cosmite rings in the world. Please accept it. it, it it's too valuable. By the way, it's already so late. You should stay the night. <gasps> yeah, the bed is too cramped for two people. But the elf should have a room. Uh, I'll ask if you can uh, stay with her. Excuse me? Huh? Could you lend me some money for the public bathhouse? It's been a long time since I've had a bath. Why? Do you smell? Huh? You do smell kind of earthy, but it's not bad. Uh, uh, don't sniff me, please! Stop it! Besides, if you really need money for a bath, you can just sell the ring. Sell it? Oh, yeah. Like I said earlier, it will support you the rest of your life. Just sell it. And so, instead of being assassinated, I was frozen in ice until the morning. It's awful. Sure, man. Whatever you say. I mean, it was your fault. That's amazing, Uncle. You can beat Alien Soldier in 30 minutes? <laughs> 29 minutes, 29 seconds. I played it non-stop. Wow. The key is not using the easy homing force, but to rush through early stages with the ranger force instead. Oh, I found a video of someone beating it in 12 minutes. Yeah. Sorry to hear that he 
he put a ring on you while you were sleeping as well. I know. Being forcefully proposed to by an orc in your sleep is traumatizing. No one will ever want to touch a woman who's been married to a dirty orc. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> you, you don't seem too worried about it. Why not? Maybe it's the other world blood. I think it's because he's the same as the forefathers of the Ice Clan. An interdimensional traveler from Nihon Bahama. Oh, I see now. They had this conversation while I was standing there frozen. They are talking about Japan, though, right? Rebellion, Yul, and Lan. The knight founded the Ice Clan 400 years ago. He came from Nihon Bahama. The knight died in a great war in Nihon Bahama and received a new life and body in Grand Bahama. Then God appeared before him and said, Traveler, I shall give you one power to survive this harsh world. Name it. The clever knight already had his answer. Give me a blade that can kill a god like you. A starting bonus from a deity? Another world fantasy standard! And the warrior's reply was so cool. <laughs> then what? And so this god responded to him. He wished for the power to kill a god. Oh, interesting. However, More importantly, does that ugly orc face look like a normal human to you? Oh, interesting. Tell me, idiot. Interesting. Stop it! You're kidding me. Uh, it was about to get interesting. Could you please I know me? this story. I read about this when I was a kid. Shoo, shoo. Uh, gets the sword, gains all knowledge and language, falls in love with a village priestess, breaks the sword seal, and slays the legendary blaze dragon. Then the sword is passed down for generations, right? Uh, uh, she spoiled all the big moments in the story! Now tell me, how do you truly feel about the orc face? Uh, that story was the only thing I was confident about. <laughs> I worked really hard to practice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please don't cry. There, there. It's okay. It's okay. I got nothing. What? What's that? Why did I get my own god freezing sword when I went there? I just assumed that your magic powers were your starting bonus, weren't they? I didn't get a bonus, and I didn't even talk to any gods. Oh, let's watch when you first appeared in Other World. Eighteen years ago? That's it? Eighteen years ago? Can you even remember that far back? Searching for it's gonna be a real pain, honestly. Uh, okay. Lynch mob, execution, torture... You seem way too casual about this. <laughs> oh yeah, my uncle was being hunted because people thought he was an orc. For real? And found it. Oh. You dirty orc! You are going to eat our precious no, cow! Uncle, I don't think that's it. Is it this? Purify this evil orc who violates our doctrine! No, that's, that's the never-ending water pot one. Is it this? No. This? No! This? Why are we hunted so much, man? Well, once I fall asleep, it's impossible to wake me up. If they get me in my sleep, it's super easy to string me up. I can't believe you made oh. it back alive. Huh? Wait, what's this? A skeleton? It's a resurrection spell you find in holy magic. But I never saw it done until much later. Why is it happening in an old memory? Whoa! Wait, that's you at 17? When you first got there? I see. So that's how my body was actually made in Grand Bahama. Does that mean God made his body? Yeah, it looks that way. mistaken for an orc and beaten up here. I didn't understand their language, so I thought they were bugging me, but then they mistook my money for a tax spell cards. <sighs> January 2000. I was heading to the game store to spend all my holiday money when I got into that accident, and then this. <laughs> what game was I going to buy? Yeah, this is getting kind of sad. Hold on. Do you hear something? Is that God's voice? Well, hold on. Let me turn it up. God is Chinese? I think this God somehow got the region code wrong. Hey, 
hey guys, chill out, will you? I mean, I'm getting beaten up here. No, go. Cool. Rewind it, and I'll use the translation app. Okay. Dear customers and friends, good day to you. I welcome you to... A Grand store Island. announcement? It sounds pre-recorded. They said grant you power. Maybe it's like Thank Mabel said that. I see. So whatever I wished for then became my power. Oh, this is when you awakened. It's when you gained your magic and became unbeatable, right? I assume you wished for the power to massacre these human pieces of garbage? Or did you ask for the strength to erase these bastards? Did you, huh? me do you need to talk to someone about something? Actually, I'm pretty sure the only thing I was thinking... If only... If only we spoke the same language. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Understood. I have granted you your wish. It also, says, if you go to Mount Understood. Dordo, I have decided to grant you your one wish. Travel to Mount Dordo to gain any additional knowledge you may require. That's it. So your only power is... Translating? Oh, I see. That's so lame. So my bonus was being able to understand the other world language, right? I don't know, man. Maybe you were supposed to learn the other world language from this Mount Dordo? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You managed to work it all out. From what I've seen so far, that's pretty rare for you. No. You know, they actually sold me to a freak show as a rare speaking orc. Um. I was sold for only three copper pieces. And then I was stopped right there, Uncle. I need to get a coffee. Make that too. Oh, that's a great idea. I can use a refill. It was like the god of that world had lost the passion for their one job. And the other world people were just as awful. I knew there'd be more unpleasant stories, so... We took a coffee break. That's good beans. Wonderful depth of flavor. What? I'm worth less than a scrubber? Huh? How did you not know? <gasps> oh. uh, what's wrong with you two? It's probably... Memory forgetting spell. I just remembered it. Oh. Yeah, I read the page of your notebook. I just remembered that. Huh? Miss Fujimiya, could you read the beginning of this notebook, please? This notebook seen better days. <laughs> just the beginning! Sold to a merchant for less than a scrubber. Oh, it must be the first painful memory I erased after learning the spell. I don't blame you. It's pretty embarrassing to be sold at a doorbuster price. Seems like an erased memory comes back when you stumble across it again. First you get a nosebleed, and then the memory spirits warn you that going forward is very dangerous. But there are cases like this you can't do anything about. Shouldn't spirits have a better warning system? Are you okay? Oh. Uh, I'm tired. My shoulder is killing me. Huh? At least it's over. Beautiful, powerful. 
powerful move. I can infinitely bounce around the room if there were walls. Speaking of Pulse Man, they broke new territory during the cyberspace. Mm -hmm. Oh no. We well, yeah. did cyberspace and lost it. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking to the moonlight to maintain my sanity. I mean, can't you tell by looking at my face how I'm totally in my right mind? It's genius. Apparently, the term, man. Pulse men have a new hit called Pocket Monsters. But I know they're going to come back and make a Pulse Man 2 for a Sega system. The Vault Decker Ultimate Moon transformed his whole body into invincible light. Yeah, he became just about as strong and beautiful as this light be might imagine. Huh? What do you mean, thank you? No, 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 this isn't just flattery. This is how I actually feel about it. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen in this world. Huh? Oh, no. Who's there? Good. 
to be okay. I need to transfer my wound. Stick more to the... chicken tonight and you know what mama's gotta get her tasty wings yeah let's pick this up another time oh okay yeah nothing really good happened after this part of the story anyway huh a little worse than this out of curiosity what happened oh i mean not that much honestly i just saved that elf from a dragon and even though I went out of my way for her, she just yelled and insulted me the whole time. What do you mean? That's a really important part! I actually want to hear that story! Mm-hmm. Eat without me. Okay. It's done. Now tell me a cool story to make up for missing Mama's fried chicken. Ah, uh, you just wait. This was my battle against the legendary Venom Dragon. Watch this. was strong enough to kill the dragon in one hit? Yeah. It, normally, it would be impossible to kill it so quickly. Oh, hold on. But I saw that the elf was focusing her attacks on this one spot, so that's what I aimed for. If she tried a little harder, she would have beaten it by herself. Okay, and I'm not an orc. Uh, is it on yet? Uh, and you know how to use a zipper, don't you? My apologies, Lord Swordsman. Nah, you're good. Don't worry about it. It's only natural to want to save someone in danger. <laughs> Sure you're okay. Stay away from me, you dirty! 
dirty orc! Pig, pig, pig! You're an ugly little pig orc! Smooth move, you creepy old pervert. No. You know, in my experience, it just stirs people up even more when you try to argue with them. I'd rather just take it. I can't imagine what going to school was like for him. So, this was the moment when the elf began to stalk me. She stole my hoodie and insulted me every time I would see her. She didn't even help me when I was frozen. She hated me. Oh, speaking of being frozen, whatever happened to you after you thawed? Hmm? Oh, something like this. My body's so heavy. Is that because of the ice? <laughs> what is this <laughs> soft feeling? resort if I end up on the street. Oh, okay. That sounds like a good plan. Well, why don't you have the elf take care of you for a little bit then? Huh? You must have money from your ring still. Well, I put it all in the bank. <coughs> oh! In that case, help! I'm yours, master! Huh? You're embarrassing yourself. Hey, let's go eat. It's all on me today. Let's have a little feast, okay? Oh. Mm, I just remembered. I haven't introduced myself. I am Mabel Rebel. I'm a descendant of the Ice Clan and now an aspiring adventurer. And you are? I guess you can. Just call me... Elf. I'm the only elf to venture outside of my homeland. My mission here is to locate and recover ancient artifacts. Nice to meet you. I'm Wolfgun Blood. You liar! That's what you came up with! I'm an adventurer searching for a way back to my homeland. Nice to meet you. <sighs> What's with the fake name? Hmm? I mean, who goes around telling strangers their real name? But you've known the elf for three years now. I mean, it almost makes sense. 
Okay. I'm going to make my way to Ikosa. Ikosa? Oh, the town you sold your ring at. I don't remember there being any notable dungeons around there. Sh shut up! I'm free to do whatever I want! You dumb, crude orc jerk! Yeah, she's gonna buy back the ring. Well, someone's feeling jealous. What? Wolf gum blood? What? Where? Oh, right. That's me. What are you going to do today? There's a hero attempting to clear a nearby dungeon. I thought I'd check in. A legendary hero? Hasn't been one of those in 50 years. I heard that they were granted that title after taking down an army of Legion-class monsters. That's a wildly impossible task. Oh, no way. Wow. I could go with you, Wolf Gumbud. But I'm more of a night owl. I'll go back to sleep and wake up around 2 p.m. And after that, I should be ready to leave around 5. What? Anyway, that was the day. <laughs> Are you just mad? Mabel is too much of a need to keep up with either of them. Huh? Speaking of 5 in the evening, it's getting pretty late. <coughs> Miss Fujimiya should go home. the fried chicken. Oh, are you too hungry? Who wants to get some ramen? It's on me. <laughs> really? Oh, really? You sure? Yeah, of course. Yippee! Uncle's life in the other world was kind of a living hell. There weren't any decent gods around, but... At least he had the elf and Mabel. The ramen was really amazing. Maybe even the best. He was a little short, though. Fujimiya paid the difference. After a fair and balanced voting process, it has been decided that my infamous translation skill will now be known to the world as... Wild Talker. Pretty cool, huh? Takabumi, that's on you. Y yay. Oh, wow. At least it wasn't Uncle's idea. This was absolutely not an option. But what are the requirements to activate Wild Talker? Uh, I gotta go. Huh? Sorry. I have to go swing by the university. Oh, a Saturday class? Well, it's a minor thing. Uh, see you later. Huh? Look, I just... See? See? If you lure them that way, they fall and automatically die. Yeah. By the way, what are you playing this on? It's a Genesis. I bought it with my own YouTube revenue. Oh. Oh, yeah? I learned a lot from these games. They saved me in the other world. Icarus Elrond. Oh, there was this village that was about to be attacked by goblins. So I worked with another team of adventurers, and we stopped them before it happened. Ah! Working together? Oh, uh, th that's later on. It's fine. I've handled 
situations like this. I have an idea. Hold on. Hey! Hey, fellas! Come to Papa! Just straight ahead! to kick them over the cliff didn't quite work, yeah, but... Yeah, you think? In Golden Axe, there's this famous, powerful death stab move you do by dashing into a jump. It's hard to hit with it, though. time you saw them? No, I saw them more. Huh? Actually, the third time I saw them, I could suddenly speak with all of the wild monsters. What monsters? Now that I think about it, that must mean my wild talker ability was on full blast. They're holy protections in my eyes! They're humans! Oh, I will stop you! Mr. just this drunk! Come on, this again? Oh, right, right, I need to fast forward to more. You! That's right. I am not an orc. Oh, I'm having deja vu. He erased their memories, so it's the same thing. I am Raiga. I'm Alicia. Edgar. Tenma Kuroki. Nice to meet you. Wow. Nice to meet you. Another so, fake name. What are you all doing out here? Oh, well, that old temple over there is a nest for monsters. The village of Sherig is paying us to exterminate them, but the three of us are no match. What are we talking about? The monsters are called death stab beasts. Have you ever heard of the animal hedgehogs? <clears throat> They're basically human-sized hedgehogs with huge spikes. That, that's like Sonic. It's hard to penetrate their defenses when they fall up. We don't know how to defeat them. What? You, you shouldn't hurt them. Huh? huh? Listen, why do monsters attack us? If we understand the reason, then we may not ever have to fight them again, don't you see? <sighs> the reason? That's stupid. We don't have time for this. People are getting hurt. Oh, Sonic! What? Sonic? Yay! Yeah. The hell? As you can see, other world hedgehogs are nothing like the Earth ones. They're not blue or fast or anything. Uh, are you sure about that? And so the negotiations began. Monster, tell me why are you attacking us? What have humans done to you? Did we invade your territory, perhaps? Are you just defending your young? Is it revenge? Tell me now. I... I don't want... I don't want to kill you. 
went down. A strong, earnest desire to communicate with others may be what triggers my wild talker ability. Y yeah, maybe. Uncle really sticks to his guns, huh? <sighs> that was crazy. So then, what did the monster say? Don't worry about it. There's a hero nearby. You happen to know anything about that? Maybe a rumor? Hero? It must be the one the elf mentioned. Fujimiya left her phone. We need to get it to her. What? Come on, let's give it to her tomorrow. Okay, man, let me put it like this. Being outside without your smartphone is like playing a video game without a controller. We need to go right now! <sighs> man, flying feels amazing! <laughs> I know, right? If it gets too cold in the winter, we'll have to take the train, though. So Fujimiya is definitely here. Takafumi, I am not getting involved. This is all on you. I know. As long as he's being respectful. She's my friend. Your friend, huh? Can you actually drop me off somewhere? No, hold on. I'll grant you the spirit's protection for this. Oh, hello, spirits. I can't thank you guys enough for everything you do for me. Oh, you should check out my YouTube channel. It's called Uncle from Another World. Okay, bye. All right. You should be able to use my spells for about an hour. Will you give or take? Uh, I'd say thank you, Uncle. Takafumi, what will you do if he turns out to be a good guy for him? Well, if he's respectful. Then I won't have to interfere. Gotcha, gotcha. If not, he's a race. What? His memory. Ah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go and stay overnight at the beach. No, thanks. And why not exactly? We stayed at the hot springs last year. Oh, I'm busy this year. Busy? You didn't let me get any sleep at the hot springs when we went. Huh? Got your phone earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, thank you. Huh? What do you want? Wait, Chucky? Huh? It's Takafumi. Remember me? Sega Saturn once. Sega? What the heck is that? Can you tell me about any other YouTubers that play that sort of game? Yeah. There's this one famous gaming channel that does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
You seemed incredibly tense when you showed up at first, you know. What was that about? Oh, I guess I didn't recognize Jackie. And I may have thought he was your boyfriend. What? You know I don't have a boyfriend! Uh, it would be weird if you did. You are a cute girl. <sighs> so, you were going to pick a fight with my boyfriend or something? Maybe. I'll admit, it did upset me to think about you dating a bad person. Oh, yeah? I would never date a bad person. So what would you have done if he was some kind of awful guy, huh? Oh, I would have... Spirit of Light. Actually, something shorter. Camouflage. What? Why am I transparent? Shadow Phantom. Holograms. And now I cast Greater Mobility. Huh? It'll come up if you just search for it, I swear. would be used to fight large groups of enemies in the real world. You see, one of magic's biggest weaknesses is that it takes too long to say a spell which renders it useless in combat. However, with the use of spirit magic, I can be specific with my words to get a greater effect and just simply say something along the lines of spirit of blah blah blah, do blah 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 blah, and boom, done. What do you think? Pretty epic, right? Yeah, I know. That's absurd. This is the sort of thing that you could very easily get carried away with and pay a price for later. Hey, now, this isn't a Japanese folk tale. Didn't something like this happen back in grade school? What do you mean? You know, you stepped in when I was getting messed with. It was some older kid. Oh, I remember. You mean that time you got knocked over, right? No, nope, I didn't get knocked over. Wait, huh, really? Why don't we take a look, then? Huh? Memory recall! Hey! This spot is for sixth graders! If you're supposed to be the older kids here, then you should really act like it. It's hard to tell when you're all crying like big babies. Shh, shut up, Buckley! Oh, 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 it hurts! Brian! Are you okay, Brian? Oh, that one hurt! Oh, 
Marian Slatterach. Regasuld Staga. Staga Magna, Staga Magna. supposed to be a shortcut from the final room when you beat it. Here, this is for you. Oh, thanks. Great. Hooray. Oh, please excuse me. <laughs> Icarus Kuora. So that's why I used a game exploit to skip to the end. It wasn't fair to them. They needed the XP, you know? Don't drag them! And so the four of us went through the dungeon again, but this time the long way. Stay calm and collected when you make a living fighting. I learned that from the great Sinre Dusachi Tarumaru. Uh huh, of course you did. And there goes that cool factor. Is it me, or is it kind of hot today? It's been pretty bright outside, too. Is it? I guess it's been a while since I've been in a room without air conditioning in the summer. No, we didn't even have fans in our classrooms back in high school. What? We even had air conditioning at our high school, right? Mm hmm Are you for real? Back when I was young, we... <laughs> no way you're about to start a story with a back in my day. They had corporal punishment back then. Someone would get a beating every day. Every day? <laughs> These days, they'll absolutely yell at you, but they can't really lay a finger on you. <laughs> Can you just show us what happened when you left the damn party? Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Icarus, Melron. I wonder if Takafumi is trying to distract himself. His parents did get divorced back in high school. You evil orc! I won't say a word! Wasn't talking to you. Icarus, Slatterach. Captain! I see now. The church is choosing the divine hero's missions. And Father Zernigan is calling the shots. Oh, 
He's currently in a secret meeting with the army's commanders. <laughs> Damn you! Thanks for your cooperation, Wargret Sladusel Sladusel! <laughs> this threat manages to kill our hero. I think a tragedy like that would ensure that we can afford your precious new cathedral. So that's mm -hmm. the deal. Who, who are you? You create a mass panic just so you can line your pockets. That's why you used those three. Huh? Let go! Icarus Elrond. What? Commander, that's me. It's a horde of goblins. They're crossing over Mount Dordo. Three adventurers have gone to stop them. Adventurers? Y yes sir. They're new. And likely won't survive the fight. Give them an official order. <laughs> they must kill ten goblins. I see. The plan was always to sacrifice them as your pawns. They're the ones who chose to risk their lives. I just made it official for them. What's so wrong with that, huh? They wanted it. That jerk! He's actually trying to hurt you? You're right in one regard. They did choose to risk their lives. However, you tried to sacrifice them again after they survived. This is blasphemy to the souls who stand up in the face of death. It will not go unpunished. <gasps> Situation where Uncle smacks the arrogant otherworlder whose value of human life is literally straight from the Dark Ages with the righteous stick of modern ethics. Oh, this, this is gonna be good. What's so wrong, you say? I mean, you know, you know it's wrong. It's like, a no, man. Come, come on, I was 20 years old and it only worked part time jobs. I didn't know how to tell someone in charge that they were doing something wrong. Commander, it's an orc. <laughs> Kill him. Zatora Kiatoru. <laughs> Things were looking dire. I didn't know if I'd make it, so I transformed into the strongest creature I could think of. So strongest? What creature? <laughs> Steady yourself. This is a rare orc species. You're your only top. Where else you go? Hear me! Okay, for real, man, who is that? Oh, that's just Mr. Tabuchi, my eighth grade homeroom. Uh, How did we know? Mr. Tabuchi was really good at arguing. He's a terrifying monster, so I borrowed his strength. What are you? Cut it out! You need to think long and hard about the value of human life! Yeah. See, I won the argument. Are you in? Please, stop it! I know the commander took extreme measures, but almost 11 years ago, my village no, don't, was annihilated by a monstrous horde of evil gods. <laughs> Did I ask you for input on the matter? Now shut up! Yes. So I completely shut them down. How is he so strong? Power of teachers in the 90s, man. Satisfied now? Either way, the kingdom needs more money for the military. Ever since the legendary Venom Dragon was slain, this land has been plagued with odd events. The death of the Blaze Dragon, the barrier in Luvaltrum going down, and now a giant goblin army and unknown forces at work behind the scenes to sow chaos in our peaceful land. We don't it was have you all along. Yeah, man, you basically caused all of this. That's the problem. Even with Mr. Tabuchi's thought patterns, I couldn't justify a slap. 
much better. Okay, continue. Oh, sure thing, no problem. Rebellion, you'll you Commander, partnering up with a pervert! How dare you! 
I am a man of God. I offer salvation I to people in an evil world. I respect your to dirty your own hands and protect the kingdom. But isn't there something else you could do? <laughs> Can't you just trust in the strength of the people who already follow you? <laughs> We must end this immediately! Yeah, we gotta stop! It's really hard to see this wear on you so much. You've looked stressed since we got a hero! Everyone, listen! I was fully prepared to abandon those three and become the bad guy. They may have all survived, but I'm still guilty.
I mean, seriously, how did neither of you think of this? Oh, the heat is probably part of it. But turning into a dragon the other day really put my brain into a fog, if you know what I mean by that. I get it. Being a dragon frees you from all of your worries. Hey, you want to be dragons again? Stop turning into dragons! Come on, let's just go buy an air conditioner. I'd love to, but we kind of don't have the money for it. It would up the electric bill. Then maybe make a new video? Like, why don't you just stream your other world memories that you play for us straight to YouTube? Oh, sure. Absolutely not. Huh? Why not? Uncle, are you able to project what I'm thinking about right now? Uh, yeah. Icarus U Elrond would mean. Spirits of memory, visualize thine thoughts. Because of this, this is what they comment on? I mean, I would. It's a good way to kill time. You don't like the internet way too much. Look, I'm saying we should do something else. Ugh, which spirit could I ask for help here? Question, I've never asked this, but what is a spirit exactly? Hmm? I mean, what do they look like? Wait, are they all scantily clad, beautiful women like you see in every single fantasy story? No, they don't really have a form, huh? huh? I know I call them spirits, but they're not spirits. They're something completely different than that. They are voices emanating from everything around us. That's Buck Wild. And, and you said you talk with them, right? Yeah, that's the easiest way to describe it. I get a vague notion of their intentions in my head. Kind of like right now. I'm hearing the voices. <laughs> There are so many voices all the time. <laughs> Is it healthy for you to be communicating with something like that? What do you mean? You know, mentally? Oh, <laughs> of course. I'm a picture of hell. Yes, I'll purchase one. The head of a cow. Okay, well, for five million yen, you can buy this cow head from a cow named Gohan. What? Why? Five million, huh? Stop it! Why do you need the head of a cow? Well, the ice spirit is requesting compensation for the cooler magic. What? You have to pay them off? Well, yeah, of course. It's important to offer gifts or say thank you when you ask them to do a lot of extra work for you. So, why do they need a cow? Because they said so. And we need an altar. This feels a little shady. Just what did you make a deal with? Well, it's either this or they want to freeze all the grasslands on Earth for ten years straight. Huh? <laughs> for an air conditioner? We ended humanity to save money? Seems like it. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. <sighs> well, let's cook the fish you brought and have a nice little lunch, huh? Could be the last time we enjoy a decent meal. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I totally understand. Yes. Have a great day. They said a fish head is cool too. Fish head? Well, do they not care about mankind? Probably not. I'm sure to them there isn't much difference between a fish and a cow head. I imagine they think of humanity as just another organism. I doubt our extinction would bother them much at all. of mankind over an air conditioner! I guess I'm just used to it. I mean, most shooters I used to play in the 90s started with humanity on the brink of nuclear extinction. Just because you used to play hellish games like that? Did game studios in the 90s have some sort of grudge against everyone else? Oh. Hey, wake up! Yeah. Sorry, I'm still thinking like a dragon. Raw meat and fish look so delicious to me right now. I get it. Snap out of it! Why in the world did you turn yourself into a dragon, too? No, I just didn't want Takafumi to feel lonely as the only dragon. Meanwhile, I was hiding and terrified neither of you turned back to normal! It was actually really comforting to...
to have him there. Do you want to try it out too? Oh, it'd be fun if we all did. There's no way to help. You have to be really careful, however. If you stay in that form for too long, you may never turn back. Here, I'll show you what happens. Take a seat. Icarus Elrond. So I was a dragon for about a month after leaving the kingdom. What? Why is that? And my thoughts were overtaken by the Blaze Dragon's thoughts. I lost myself. I could have been that way forever. That sounds just awful. Why did you turn into it if it was such a risk? Well, I mean... Uh... Well, I guess I just thought it'd be cooler than walking home. Dude, you're right. It was cool. There's a lot to unpack there. So, how did you turn back then? So this is the orc that turned into a dragon. You know I hired mercenaries to hunt it down, but it seems you've already done the hard part. Reg Falcon trade killed. <laughs> My valued client, I'll reward you handsomely if you just turn the orc over to me alive. It won't be anywhere near enough to cover your massive existing debt to me, though. <clears throat> By the way, may I ask when I will get my I said I'd pay you back. My payment isn't even overdue and you're hassling me? I thought the head of the trade guild would be more well-versed in etiquette. Ah, oh, well. I would expect nothing less from Elga royalty. <laughs> I really am greatly obliged for this very humbling lesson in leadership. Yeah, thanks so much. Make sure you write it all down, boss. Hey, hey, I'm the dead princess. I'm so important. Look at me. What? What the elf is a princess? Huh? I oh, am. Yeah. Do you understand? She's royalty! A princess, dummy! That's not really that rare. I mean, Valgar was a prince, Serena was descended from royalty. That's how it goes. That's a I shame. just know you're talking about video game again! Yeah, and? Yeah, and? and? So you found out my secret. Well, you are a very big customer, princess. Don't call me princess. Remember, 
A dark contract spell. You made a blood oath in a spirit's name, so there can be no violence between us. You are given two choices. Pay off the debt and be free, or become mine forever. <laughs> Using yourself as collateral was a bit careless. But marrying elf royalty will help the trade guild grow even larger. Then everyone in the kingdom will know the name Hagen Regfalken. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you're the one who brought me back from my dragon form? I, yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on here, but do you think this makes us all even? Huh? Adios! Stop right there! Why are you like this? Is your brain broken or something? Maybe it is. How long was I a dragon? A month! I haven't taken a bath for a whole month? It's not like you smell or anything. You haven't gotten a good whiff yet. I did while you were sleeping. Huh? Why, though? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not like I wanted to. I was just cradling your head and... I was... I was trying to strangle you and I got a whiff. Nah, man. What a rotten liar. I understand. That all makes perfect sense. See? That girl was about to kill me. He seriously thinks that's true. He's the worst match possible for the Sindere type. The involuntary dissolution of a spell card debt contract? My plan is gone! What are you, Orc? What is your relationship? Huh? You were in some kind of debt? What? What does it look like we are? Don't get smart! Boss man! Since the contract is now void, will you allow me to discipline this little girl? Doldor, the giant hunter! I came here because I was told we were hunting down a dragon. I refuse to leave without having a little fun first. <laughs> I'm afraid this is all your fault, Miss Elf. But you broke etiquette, and there is a price to pay for that. I'm not as kind as Orc thinks. You can beat all of us? In the blink of an eye. This is a Cosmite ring, one of only seven in the world. It's extremely valuable. Uh, I don't want to... I apologize. I didn't know she was in debt. Is she good uh, now? Well, yeah. Okay, it's done. Uh... I fought desperately to buy my own ring back from him. everywhere. What? You for real? Where are they? That way. I 
guess you really like being clean. Don't most people take baths every day? You know, most experienced adventurers don't complain if they haven't taken one in a month. Yeah. Even I... <laughs> You see how she is? Look at that. I'm once again subjected to undeserved abuse. Mm. It's your fault. It was absolutely his fault. Yeah, I suppose the elf did help turn me back into a human. <sighs> Go figure. It looks like they have hot springs in the other world then. Oh, yeah. I totally went in one. That's nice. I gotta jump in one when it's this cold. Oh. <laughs> and degrees in dying August? of my videos. They're all lies, I promise. It's all totally safe. Huh? Sega's not actually like that at all, for real. <laughs> He's talking just like my aunt who got mixed up in that multi-level marketing scheme. YouTuber? Oh my god, I thought he was a cult leader. Takafumi's uncle is a little out there, but he's no cult leader. Then why are you always hanging out here? Well, you know, I... Here comes Uncle, Uncle Buckle. They'll catch up for sure. You should use it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> That's a great catchphrase. Ah. Uh, maybe not for someone who's 35. Mm -hmm. I see now. Hey, Fujimi! You know, I could 
go for some coffee right now. Oh, I'll make you some. So she's into Takafumi then. Does he feel the same? Takafumi! Hey! Wanna see pics of me and Fujimi on vacation? <laughs> wow, he really took the bait. Hey, that's a little bit close. <laughs> oh, let's sit down for it, shall we? talking about Fujimiya when she was a kid, right? So, did you meet her in high school? Oh, uh, yes. Icarus Elrond. This was Fujimiya in grade school. Huh? What's that? Oh, that's so cool. Go, 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 go. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Duh. Spirits of memory, deliver them unto <laughs> oblivion. Like Valgar. 
in Guardian Heroes because his Graviton Thunder attack has a really cool animation. Not because he's royalty. And it's the same with you. <sighs> How far away are these hot springs? We're close. Told you. Here we are. <gasps> Japanese? A traditional inn? Here? You can read Nihon Bahamalese. You really are from another dimension, like Mabel said. Nihon Bahama? The person who built this inn portaled from Nihon Bahama 20 years ago. What? <gasps> there were more people brought into the other world like Uncle? Are they... His name was Shojiro Murayama. He was only in Grand Bahama for a total of ten days. Murayama? He died here at 88. I see. Purgatory Hot Springs. You really can read Nihon Bahama. What does purgatory mean? It's a place where your soul is purified before going to the afterlife. He must have believed that that's why he was brought here back then. Whoa, I'm impressed you knew all of that. Yeah, it's really cool. Well, a lot of the super moves in the 90s used difficult kanji characters. I learned these ones from G.A.'s Purgatory Scorch move. G.A.'s Purgatory Scorch move? Ah, new customers. Well, come on in, please. My name's Grant, and I'm the manager of Purgatory Hot Springs. You both seem to know a lot about my predecessor. I guess that's true. We've all heard stories about Shojido before. But I've also heard it's impossible for him to have built this place in just ten days. Uh, really? Others say that he may have brought the inn with him from Nihon Bahama. Uh, that's not the case. When a visitor dies, everything they brought with them disappears. When my predecessor passed, their body and clothes disappeared right in front of me. Oh. Sick new info! That's what the records of the Knight of the God Freezing Sword says as well. So I'm told visitors from the other realm each receive a unique power from God. My predecessor gained control over natural materials. He used that ability and discarded your skills to build this in. Huh? What are you... Uh, you're sorting your items? They're discussing something important! Yeah, a lot of action games have long scenes that they won't always let you skip through. I'm just in the habit of multitasking, so I don't waste my time. So get off my back! Oh, yeah, but that's in video games. It seems like it was really important. Art face, let's go. Just you and your family running this place. Uh, I assure you, we do amazing work. Was Mr. Murayama treated this way, too? Uh, by the way, Uncle, you seem pretty casual with your elders in the other world compared to here. Oh, that's true. You're always very polite to people here. Being polite is easy when you're acknowledged as a human being. That's totally fair. He did get sold for three copper coins. The cost for you two will be 400,000 copper coins. 400,000? What a scam! It equals out to 40,000 Japanese yen. It's really not that crazy. Oh, I see. Hmm? So that means you were sold for how much then? Three tenths yen. <laughs> not even a full yen? Oh, right, here we go. <laughs> that bath felt amazing. Fast forward! I'm impressed you know how to wear a yukata. <laughs> I know! There was a guide in this 400-year-old biography of the Knight of the God Freezing Sword. Whoa, it's so cool you have that. It's called a kimono, right? It's kind of greasy in this. I feel a little exposed. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. I see. Then my room must be, uh... It's right here. We're sharing a room. But why? Because it was the only room that they had left at the inn. Really? It's true. But we're the only ones here. It's called a hanare, and the point is that you won't have to run into other guests staying here. I don't want to share 
either, but it looks like we don't have a choice. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. There's only one other group of guests today, so I can prepare another room for the orchid pants. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's go inside. Poor girl. She doesn't even care how she acts anymore. Wow! <laughs> Mattresses right on the floor? It's so rustic. <gasps> Bamboo floors? What a unique smell. It must be so nostalgic. So, is it? Huh? Nope. My room back home had wood flooring and a tall bed. Night. What the heck is this space? I don't know. I have no idea. What is that storage closet? What a total waste of a room. I'll just sleep in here. You can have the room. Good night. That's it. I looked for him for a month. Stupid orc. Are you tired? I can feel the tension in your legs. Yeah, because I was looking for you. What about it? I think I'd better give you a massage. I am grateful for you, you know. If it wasn't for you and your sweet, warm heart, I'd have been a dragon forever. trusting of strangers, but that naivety will... I'm not trusting any strangers. It's you. <clears throat> We're friends, aren't we? <laughs> Edgar, that, that was so cool! Come on, shut up, you mad berserker. Wait, so you two are really... Hmm? <laughs> well, Hero, to make a long story short... Orkface was the one to put this ring on my finger. Oh, oh, 
Hold on. He left a lot out of that story. Can I ask you something? He hasn't uh, given you a ring, has he? What? Uh, of course he hasn't given me one. <laughs> That's impossible. Kiroki could never see me in that way. Hey, you two. Mm -hmm. Huh? You're both old acquaintances of our honorable hero here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess. So, have you two decided which one of you is going to win over her affections yet? Please <laughs> stop, don't! Are you going to decide by performing some kind of duel or what? Wait! date whoever we want to. You don't have to act so repulsed by the idea. <laughs> Is that all childhood friends are? Anyway, what are you three doing way out here in the mountains? We're here for training. The Dark Labyrinth made it clear how underpowered we all are. The Dark Labyrinth? That's right. We found this in there. A wand of salvation? According to legend, the handle was supposed to be as black as a moonless night. I painted it. Isn't it? That was made with ancient magic. That knowledge is lost. They can't make them anymore. So what kind of training are you doing? We're working on special moves. You spellcasters fight with the power of spirits and deities. <laughs>
Sweet Zaldona. I guess they uh, still think it stinks. They won't do it. That could a bird's breath actually stink? For spirits, they sure are picky. After that, I went back to check on Alicia and the others. the wall with a barrier. Could you check the bathroom? 
Bath House too. <gasps> Look at how open it is. Honey, we could charge a fortune for people to watch the sunrise. Yeah, a fortune. Whoa, that barrier's crazy. How'd you do something like this? Well, I've created an even bigger one before. I'm just glad it helped. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I won't be embarrassed to bring my friends here anymore. <laughs> That's a bit harsh, Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you thought this whole time? <laughs> Anyway, that's all. That was the end of the hot spring stuff. Phew, I'm glad to see it all worked out in the end. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be a story about you getting in trouble for erasing memories? Oh, yeah, that's right. So after the battle, I spent some more time in that hot spring. Fast forward. Okay, Jill. Is that all key? Yeah, the monsters burnt down the partition between the male and female baths. All right, fast forward. Wait, wait! <laughs> Karaoke. I'm wearing clothes. Hmm? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you really think I was naked? Well, it is a hot spring, after all. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, God. It, it's nothing. It's not because I looked at something naughty. Yeah, we know that. You got your memory back. Plus, naughty stuff usually sends blood elsewhere in the body in real life. Uh, thank you. I dropped my guard. I guess I erased my memory of seeing, uh... Alicia naked. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. <laughs> hmm? What? <laughs> I thought so. Of course you wouldn't be interested in a young woman like myself, right? Why wouldn't I? I mean, I'm 20. <laughs> Just as I... What? <laughs> We're the same age? You're not in your 30s or something? No, I'm 20. I just turned 20, actually. Uh, 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 what month were you born in? I was born in the summer, August. November for me. So he's younger than me. Uh, uh, he's older than Uncle? But she looks so much younger. But, but there's a good chance that my birthday could be wrong. Oh, really? What do you mean? Any memories before I was nine? Oh. Kuroki, can you do the spell to show me my past memories? August, 11 years ago. Sure. Icarus Elrond. My first memory is of blood and a carriage. I had been kidnapped by the goblins. Then, some local warriors from Raga and Edgar's village saved me. I hit my head, so maybe that's why I can't remember anything before that. This letter was all I had. In the end, I never did find my family. They were probably killed by the goblins in the attack. After that, I was named Alicia by a priest in Idolcia. She was the one who took me in. Which brings us to now, I guess. So anyway, the point is, there's no way to know for sure that my birthday is in August. Are your uh, memories precious? My memories? Of course, every single one of them. I can't remember my childhood, so memories mean the world to me. Why? Because I've erased your memory twice by now. Huh? Is that some kind of joke? I use Icarus Quora. It's a spell to erase your memories. To erase my... memories? <laughs> but why... why would you... Karoki, <laughs> which 
of my memories did you erase? This will give you a nosebleed. A nosebleed? The first time was when we fought the goblins at Mount Dordo. <gasps> the second time was when we beat the Dark Labyrinth using a shortcut. So you stopped the goblins? That means my title of hero belongs to you then! I didn't earn it, you did! I'm nothing all that special, Alicia. But you fixed the barrier in the Valdrum without telling anyone! <sighs> And that's something only a legendary hero would do. So you did see me. You can tell people if you want. I'll just run off. You'd run away? Why would you do that? Because I broke the barrier in the first place. <gasps> but why? Why do such a thing? I just wanted to see if I could. Kuroki. I know you would never put people's lives at risk just for the fun of it. I come from a whole different world. It's the same place that Mr. Murayama came from, the Hon Bahawal. What? You do? I'm trying to find my way home, and I guess I thought that destroying a powerful defense barrier would create a tear in space-time that sent me back to my home forever. But in the end, all I did was put the entire city in danger. And so, with the Hypnosis Beast, you were also trying to create a hole between our two worlds? That's my goal in every battle. And you've only erased my memory two times, that's it? Yeah, just these two. <laughs> Don't ever use magic like that again! Not on anyone, okay? I use it to survive. I'll keep doing it if I have to. Kuroki! I just don't want to forget all about you, and I don't want you to forget all about me either, you jerk! All right. I won't erase your memory ever again. That's not enough for me. I won't erase my memories about you, either. That okay? Promise me, yeah? I promise. Okay. Great! It's a deal, then! Oh, but I... Um... What is it? What is it now? Oh, nothing. You were just reciting that incantation earlier. I what? Did I just erase a memory again? But what was it? You just saw me naked. I'll remember. Replay it for me. <gasps> That's not a big deal. It's okay. No, it's not. I just promised. I said I wouldn't erase memories of you. You only got a glimpse of it. A glimpse? A, a glimpse of what? Uh, uh well, I, I suppose I... Could you close your eyes, please? Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. 
the more often you'll do it. So you two should start practicing now. I don't think we're gonna do that, right, Tucker? Let's see. We're about feelings. <sighs> That's good. Yeah, it's nice. Hey, step out of it! Hungry kids. And now just close keep to that up and work on becoming three. even more so detached. Just this is useful, Uncle. Like a boomy. No matter what, I think I can get through literally anything if I just remember this technique. The Sega Saturn. I could have listened to these this whole time without the CD player? I guess you would have known if you had the internet way back then, huh? What? Is it really dangerous to put in a CD player or something? Huh? Yeah. If you fast forward, there's a loud static noise. You've done it, haven't you? Speaking of CDs, did I tell you about the singing monster? Like, hold on, there's a monster that sings? Well, it's not really a monster. You'll see what I'm talking about. Icarus Elrond. This was a month after the hot springs. I was asked to go into the heart of the forest to slay a singing monster. Oh, it's huge. What is it? Choosing to live wild and free in this vast forest. People shy away from a scary ice sculpture. I'll be chilling here alone for the rest of my life. No, you're going down. <coughs> I accepted a quest in Jato to come and slay a singing monster. So if you're planning to stay here and just mooch around, I'm sorry. <coughs>
It's too bad. Someone who's as cute and talented as you. <gasps> hey, stop! Just cut that out, okay? Why are you always like this? You would have made big bucks in Japan as an entertainer. you didn't sing in front of others. You look so sad and lonely. I I know it's not much, but I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. Okay, listen, I'm not very good, but I'll do my best. Yeah. Okay, let me just fast forward through her practicing. Wait, what kind of songs do you like? Oh, I think you two should know this one. It's by a pretty famous musician. What? Who? Hmm, okay, here we go. Oh, 
Monkey Donkey, Uncle's here. Hello, it's Uncle from another world. Who, who am I, really? I've been calling Heather Fingy for over a decade. I'm the uncle that makes mistakes. That's who I am. I'm just a fraud. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. that's enough for today. Madam Barber's human name is Kyoko Onigoroshi. A spirit Come on, it's really not that big of a deal to get a name wrong. Yeah, right? No, names are important. She said it, too. Who's she? The elf. It was the day after Mabel sang for me. She told me her real name that day. Mm. Okay. Wait, let's watch it! I have more game manuals to go watching it now! See that you're having fun, Orc Face. It's you. Thought I gave you the slip. So that's it? You're going to live together? Forever? Here? Or will you get cozy with the hero in the baths again? What do you mean? Mabel and Alicia are... Yeah, yeah, there you go again. Mabel, Mabel, Alicia, Alicia. You love calling them by their names all the time, huh? Even though you've known me longer. You never said my name. What? Your name? You never told me your name before. Should I call you Elga or what? That's my clan name, idiot. What? <laughs> well, all you ever call me is stupid or orc face, okay? What? That's because you never use your it's real Yusuke name. It's Yusuke Shibazaki. Huh? Shiba? <gasps> Shibazaki? Shibazaki of the Yusuke clan? Yusuke of Shibazaki. <sighs> Tell me how you spell it. Spell? <sighs> Shibazaki means island's cape. And then Yusuke means to jovially help people. Yeah, um, so... This is Yo, U, Su. Yusuke. Why did you tell me just now? I didn't really think that you would ever want to know my real name. What do you mean? Names are super important. I guess you're right. And yours. <laughs> I told you mine. My... my name is... Susal Gerze. Garnese Girea Gran Selka. Huh? Susal Gerze Garnese Girea Gran Selka. <gasps> Susa, I. I don't think I can remember that name. Fine, just call me Elf then. What about Sui? A nickname, huh? I could, uh. How dare you? Huh? Shorten of Royal's name. So you don't like the nickname? Because I can call you Elf again. It's not about what I like or don't like. It's the clan. The kingdom won't allow that name. But I'm asking if you like it or not. <gasps> Sui means green back in Nihon Baoma. It's used to refer to a gemstone we call Jade. Sui? Yeah. It's because I think your eyes are as beautiful as a pair of gemstones. Uh, what's that? What do you mean, gemstones? If you don't like it, I'll call you up. Yusuke! Okay, what is it, Sui? Uh, uh, no, you can't call me that! All right, I won't then. Stupid Yusuke! I mean, don't call me that when there are others around. I won't call you by your name either. My name? Why? Because I want it all. You can tell me, Sui. Uh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> well, that's about it. Oh, my heart. That was really nice.
caught my eye, so I was heading out that way. This is the Jato Shrine. From the song you were singing yesterday, Icarus Auron. <laughs> some great power. So I thought if I defeated another great power, I'd be able to, you know, progress a bit further. Okay, come on. Is defeating an enemy to progress forward your only strategy? I mean, this is ridiculous. Wait, maybe it's fine if you just destroy one. There should be three shrines total. Oh, the spirit of memory pulled these out. That? That's when you defeated the Goblin Horde with Alicia.
plan? How do we defeat a blaze dragon with the power of a god? Don't worry. Mabel wields the god freezing sword. God freezing sword? The legendary sword that is sent to counter the blaze dragon? <laughs> what the hell? Get it together. Come on, you're one of the legendary ice clans. Stop it! Leave her alone! <laughs> Shut up! This thing is scary! Do you want a piece of me? I used to be a royal knight, you know. Maybe you should say that louder. I don't think it's an option, Kuroki. What? Are you for real? Shut up, you stupid puppy hairhead! I got this, yeah! If you have something to say, you should speak clearly, okay? This is bad. What do we do? I know. This thing will kill us. No, it won't. Really? Well, how do we beat it? It's simple. We hit hard and fast, so we outpace its healing power. Huh? My sword gathers and releases power. I usually charge it up with the lightning magic stored inside my armor. We charge it with Orc Face's stupidly powerful magic and release it all at once against the Divine Blaze Dragon. I believe that we can kill it in one blow. <gasps> uh, won't it take control of you if you get close? That's no problem. The gem on my forehead blocks all kinds of mind attacks. What about its attack nullification? Well, we can still damage it if we attack while getting burnt. Oh, while well, getting burnt? It. But that would kill you! Its fire is an instant death attack! We know that. You block the fire without magic. Then beat it. Yeah, without the God Freezing Sword. Wait, so you beat this dragon once before? And without the God Freezing Sword? Workface already did it, and he was all by himself. Didn't need any sword. That means we can do it again. Wow, the God Freezing Sword is useless! Hold on. Can we talk for a second? I haven't told the two of them that you were the one who took out the Goblin Horde on our first mission. Oh, uh, don't tell them. I'd prefer you didn't. What? You wouldn't? More importantly, I was thinking about the memory I erased at the Hot Springs. Oh, when I was naked! <gasps> No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Icarus quarter. I'll, I'll remember for you. Just recreate it. Oh no. Huh? Uh, maybe later at the end. Mabel! <gasps> huh? What? I forgot to introduce you to this extremely famous trio of heroes. Why are you so loud? Rika, Edgar, Alicia. Look at them! Pretty cool, huh? Did we really need an intro during an emergency? Oh, yeah, you're right! It is an emergency. What was I thinking? No, it was a nice intro. That's not it. I am the... guardian of the legendary God Freezing Sword. Mabel Rayville. Hey. Wow! It's really nice to meet you, Mabel! How are you? Hello! I am a former royal knight. Something freelance adventurers could never even dream of becoming. So please keep that in mind, okay? Yeah, we'll do that. Sure, cool. But this girl's got issues. Wasn't she jobless and homeless back then? <gasps> it's on the move!
just going to carry me around like a trash bag or something? All right, we're ready to go now. Oh, all right. It sounds like you guys don't need me here then. Is she kidding? <laughs> Look at that smile. I'll just be over here so I'm out of your way. Dragon must really hate the Ice Clan. Oh, we can use Mabel as bait. And then we'll get the jump on it. It's okay. We'll be backing you up. sound so easy. Were you just lying to all of them? Why? I acted confident. So they wouldn't be too scared to fight. So they'd actually work together. I don't want them to have my experience. Oh. I get it. I'm sorry you had to suffer through that.
if you're not gonna have enough power to fly. <laughs> Look at you get all frantic. <laughs> That's not funny. Ah! We did it, Yusuke! What's that? I can't hear! We did it, Yusuke! Ah!
I know, right? They're the names of these really strong enemies I fought back at Nihon Bob. I gotta say, you both have great taste, ladies. <laughs> Why did you tell them your real name, idiot? Go. No, no. No, Dave. We don't want this breaking now, do we? Why? What are you going to use it for? I saw something. The moment we defeated the dragon and these two powerful energies clashed, there was a warp in space-time. I think if I get this even stronger and hit it with a bigger attack, I might be able to create a larger warp and get myself... Oh, ah! What the hell are you doing? I'm going to break it. Cindery girl. If she doesn't want him to leave, she should just say so. So that was it. This was how I first got the brilliant idea on how to make it back home to Japan. <gasps> So you trained the legendary blaze dragon and made it stronger, then created a warp in space-time big enough to send you back to Japan? Uh... Hold on. Let's go in order, Fujimiya. We shouldn't just jump to the end like that. But there are still 14 years left, and I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, don't worry about that. Huh? I basically played solo, so there aren't really that many episodes left. Uh, are you serious? There's a pretty big gap between your perception and reality, though. So, anyone else hungry? I am. Oh, do you want to go get some ramen again? It's my treat. Your treat? Oh, really, Uncle? Yeah, of course. Yahoo! Oh, it's starting to get kind of chilly. Pretty soon, I won't need to ask the Ice Spirit for any help. It's been hard to find fish heads to offer. <laughs> Miss Fujimiya, what would you do if aliens attacked us right now? That's easy. I just have you take them out with magic. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's crazy. So much has happened. first met him. We're all gone now. I mean, all in all, I don't think your life in the other world was all that bad. Oh, you think so? Yeah, you made friends. You and the elf sorted things out in the end. Huh? What's the memory spirit doing? Thrown in prison. Man, what for? 